Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Did this thing start recording? I suppose it did. Today, if all goes well, is October 8th, the second Sunday in the month of October, 2023. And today I'm going to be looking back at an old forum post. Wait, wait. At an old forum post. Get everything ready. From 2020, actually. Now, it's early on in 2020. Uh, April 18th, as a matter of fact. And Grandio 2 is the one from Germany in charge of organizing the Commander Keen. Ahem, the Keen Awards. This is a way to pay tribute to the contributors of many Keen related things, whether that be tools, mods, playthroughs, anything that's connected with Commander Keen. A way of highlighting their contribution, their work to the community for that particular year. I'm going to be looking at the year of 2019, which was about, you know, four years ago or so. And back in the day, there were a few awards for, um, well, all of these various things, four different categories. And these are the poll results for the categories. Um, now, it seems to me that there are probably what would you say how many members there are on the forums like that are there pretty regularly if you're there once a week that's regular enough to be regular um but <laughs> don't lose my chain of thought <laughs> there aren't enough votes the most votes I see here are 14 votes for any given award. Um, so I want to highlight the Keen Awards because there may be another Keen Awards maybe later on. Um, there was one the year after this and a few years after this, like 2020 and 2020 and 2021. Um, but there could be one for this year, 2023. We'll get to that. But anyways, this is easy to access on the forums. Here on the on the homepage, uh, there's the official Keen games, unofficial Keen games, and Keen stuff. And there's a sub forum that lists the uh, Keen awards. It's been separated out by uh, the moderators to I don't know, you know. Give, it, give the Keen Awards its own space so it doesn't get buried by other things. And since the Keen Awards are so intensive as far as creating topics goes on the forums, it's really nice to have this in its own separate forum so that it doesn't crowd everything else out. First, we come to Best Vorticon Mod. The winner of this mod was our pal, our best friend, Quillax, formerly known as Quinton, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, in the year of 2019, he released a mod called uh, The Mortrix. And if we click on the link here, it gets us to the wiki page, the Keen wiki page for The Mortrix. Uh, and I think there's a, a few videos of me playing this game on this channel. And I'll probably be playing it again because... I'm starting from scratch, kind of. I have to give every mod a proper playthrough, and I feel like the first ones I did kind of have to be redone as... Would you be quiet, you swelling music? Silence! <laughs> You're drowning me out. Anyways. Amazing stuff. A whole bunch of new stuff. Uh, he, he drew King, King differently, or got it from, like, Lego King, something like that. You, you take 
grab stuff from all sorts of different sources or sometimes make up your own but yeah a full-fledged Vorticon mod for Keen 2 Keen 2 is a good one to mod that is that's my first mod that I ever released was from Keen 2 um, and then there's even an Asaba in place of the Vor Vor Vorticon Alder uh, so really neat mod a whole bunch of new stuff uh, runner up going up against Proyorp's Planet of the Pandas, <laughs> which I do remember taking a brief look at. Um, I think that I am going to have a playthrough of all the mods that are connected to the uh, Keen Awards. This will be kind of my guide. If I can't think of what to play next, um, then I will pick out one of the the, the Keen Award mods, whether it be Vorticons, Galaxy, Dreams, anything like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't think I completed Planet of the Pandas, uh, but it looks interesting. <laughs> so that was neat with four, four votes there. Um, I did miss one year. I'm pretty sure I was I was here on the forums for this year and I probably voted I probably voted for more tricks so um, glad that these two mods get a little bit of recognition and I'll be giving it another round of spotlights for when we play it here on the channel probably at this moment I'm playing terror from outer space I'm definitely finishing that in a few days I think from the time this video is uploaded Next, we have uh, Best Keen uh, or Best Galaxy Dream Mods. And the winner of this one is Atrox in Realm version 1.3. Because at Atrox, there's a few videos on this channel of me playing this. I'm going to do a proper playthrough, but it is a Gigantic mod. There were some developments in figuring out how to increase the number of max of levels that you could have. So like a, a Commander Keen 4 is ha, has a limit or it was just made that way. So you work within the confines of the original game. Uh, but being as there was, I think some playing around with the source code, uh, they're able to add like over 30 levels, which is crazy unheard of that there are that many levels. Um, for a Commander Keen mo mod, because they're usually much shorter than that. Um, and then, runner-up, I think, was the Prisoner's Dilemma. And this one goes to... Well, this is neat. It goes to another... It goes to a thread. Not, not a Keen Wiki page, I don't think. But I do remember downloading this and playing this. Oh, neat. Uh, good old Nasaba has, has uh, given us a screenshot. It kind of looks like really neat graphics. Commander Keenan's headphones on over his helmet. Uh, actually at the uh, 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 Tachyon uh, transceiver. That's cool. In fact, this is really cool. I don't think I gave this a, a, a long enough look. Uh, I don't know if this is still in beta or if it's finished. What I can do is figure out if it has a name. Oh yes, The Prisoner's Dilemma. I think I'll grab Dilemma and then go to the Keen Wiki and then put in, oh, I'll put in Prison dilemma yeah there it is oh sweet here it is and we can download it three stars looks amazing new graphics commander kings in jail there's a few levels in here really neat I don't know if it's it says it's complete but Maybe there'll be more stuff added to that. That's really neat. Um, and then 
King Dreams 2 Another Helping of Veggies by Zemi. Wait, where is it? Oh, here it is. Oh, man. <laughs> There's like a. Oh, yeah. A, a, a female, like, King Tuber and Queen Tuber. So, this is really neat because there's not too many mods of keen dreams so yeah we'll play this one on the channel eventually um <laughs> oh my heavens oh heavens uh, we'll all figure out what to do with this mod mm, mm, another helping of veggies yes i'm glad i got some votes because that looks pretty funny and then Keen Ball by Level Ass. Ah, oh, yes, I remember trying this out. That's really cool. Keen Ball. And then last one is... Uh, no, that was the last one. Oh, Prisoner's Dilemma is different from the Bounty Brouhaha. Bounty Hunting Brouhaha. Oh, this guy was busy at work, or else he just showed up in 2019 and dumped all his projects. So it kind of looks like, oh, not quite finished, but kind of cool. Yeah, we'll, have, we'll look that over as well. Super neat. But yeah, uh, Aatrox was the biggest, probably still is the biggest <sighs> modding project of its time. That's for sure remains to be um, best fan game this is like keen related but isn't actually a game that's made in the keen engine uh, so rhubar has this planet cloudius nine and i've played this a few levels of it maybe one of them got on the channel here but this seems like a really big it's made in a different engine. It's got all these... What? Wow. All these levels. So many levels. It's a level inside a heart. It's the old famous Keen drawing. Everyone remember this thing? Oh, it's so epic. I think part of it was a uh, inspiration for Bubba Tom. Or maybe Bubba Tom was the one that made this. Or maybe Rhubar made this. I don't know. Um... But that's super awesome. Definitely the best fan game. It's like it it's pretty much Commander Keen. He doesn't have a football helmet, but you know, in the, based on the Keen Gen, really cool. Uh, and then there was also by Ryan Silberman Super Mario in Marooned on Mars. That's funny because they put Dangerous Dave in Super Mario, and now Super Mario is in in, in, in in this. Which is uh, uh, itch.io. <laughs> Maybe we can play that. Um, so let me throw that over here. We'll have to check that out. <laughs> if it still runs. And then best level are these levels of within no votes for pro, pro your planet of the pandas and then what i i do want to is uh b best graphical artwork Ooh, that's cool right poisonous slug being zapped by commander keen as he grits his teeth flying by on his pogo stick with a pyramid looming in the background as an angry lick behind one of those stone houses watches by uh, this tree kind of having this well it's it's a tree it can't do much but that's cool I like that um, however it did get one less vote than the redrawing King one sprites by ain't no fun time which is adorable. Look at this. Did redrawing King One sprites? Wow. Oh, I made a post here. Don't read it. I'm embarrassing. Uh, oh wow! Look at that. 
More stuff was made. Here it is in action. Ooh, we get to watch. Yes. It's still the EGA colors. There's something like 3D about it. It's not really so flat. He's really looking like he's leaning back on the pogo stick by a lot. So, oh boy, let's watch that again, shall we? The Yorp is not in action in this video, but this is an unlisted video. And uh, it has f 55 views. <laughs> so that's super neat. That won the best graphical artwork. Then there's best narrative, um, <laughs> which that's funny. Uh, best music, music usually put into uh, the games uh, of the Keen Mods, but not always, because the winner of this category in this year was me, <laughs> um, which was Too Hot to Handle Remix. By Commander Keen, uh, by Troublesome Keen, which is my handle for some reason. But it's not actually a remix. It's just riffing off of the Too Hot to Handle. There's some good part that's like towards the end. I've actually since gone on to kind of refine this. Um, so it's like I should re-record it, but this does live on this breakdown house channel. Uh, so that's you, you could watch this. What I'm doing is I'm going from C minor to F major to F minor to C minor six. And I did, I, by accident, one f little phrase that was good. And I think it happens after I get done with this poundy part. Well, the whole thing is poundy, but that's my style, I guess. Uh, I like this part the best. Like... Just that little bit there. Um, and I'm playing this on my Kawaii ES-110, which sits on top of my Hammond XK-5. And I think the keyboard on top is maybe the Prophet XL or the Korg Kronos. Or heck, at this point, it might actually be the Kumar 7. Um, so <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Um, the fact is, is that I won an award. Uh, people voted for it. I guess they liked it. So that was great. <laughs> I don't know if I deserve it. <laughs> um, and then we'll exit all of this stuff here. I want to take a look at the best non-computerized art. This one will be Computing History Visitors, Yorp and Garg Cosplay. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's so cool. That's neat. So it's, it's, it's a green Yorp, right? It has the little one head and then the, the or the two, one eye, and then the two eyes would be the Garg. And, and they're green. So huh, that's cool. And then somebody drew a pencil. Does that tree look alien? Yeah, it's a missing an eye. Uh, nice one, Mario. Nice one. Or is that Mario? I don't know. Um, the the cosplay one. And then best gameplay video. Let's take a look at the winner, Paul's Gaming. <laughs> I don't know if I've watched this yet. <laughs> what they have a discussion about it. I noticed the he had no idea he won. 
Keen attacks the Zimbo. What? Hi. Welcome to a, uh, I guess a mod or map pack or something called. This is a great find. The, the oh, author had no idea. Rubar let him know, and he's like, "Cool." I love his accent. Oh, and he's playing the mod. This. Uh, let's take a look at. Uh, does he do a bunch of keen stuff? I don't. I don't think he's done a lot of any keen stuff in a while. When's the last time he uploaded? 19 hours ago? One day ago? One day ago? One he has a daily show too! Well, that's neat. G go subscribe to, to, to Piece, of the Piece, Piece of Pie Software. <laughs> and then there's another gameplay by Ghost Alpes uh, for Goodbye In Galaxy. Goodbye Galaxy thing, and so it will not be part of this. It was like a standalone game. Uh, so the first thing we're gonna do is. Oh, this looks cool. He's gonna what the water levels? Howdy, folks, and welcome back once more. He has to get the the suit first. I like how this looks. Look how dark the green is. It's like he didn't do this Open on DOSBox. It's at least four, if not. Four how does now. how do these colors exist? Oh, can I like? Oh, I have to get up there while. Did it's you play this on original right? hardware? Oh, this is gonna be horrible. They're expecting precision. That's neat. Um, let's look at his channel. This reminds me of the other channel we were on. Huh. Well, that's neat. But, oh, wow. 12 hours ago, 12 hours ago, one day ago, four days ago. Not quite a daily show, but getting there. There's a bunch of Doom stuff. Some Castlevania stuff, Heroes of Might and Magic, DuckTales, Contra. That's really neat. Uh, so those were the people back in 2019 playing uh, the original Keen games, and one of them a mod. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty neat. Best website. The Death Generator, Keen Enters the Shadowlands. Oh, wow. Annoyed? Council member, Princess Lindsay. What a great website. I've been here before. This is great. Oh, look. Quillax did a, a Robo Red. Did he? Is this what this is? That's definitely Robo Red, but it's ro Robo Orange, right? Because it's a pumpkin. That's awesome. Did Quillax win? Because he has a cool website. He did win. Best website. That is that is a good website. Mm hmm. Let's check out the mods page. Oh, this is all the mods that Quillax has done. Mort's Rescue, Flames on Earth, the Squeak Battle. That's a good one. Mice everywhere. Uh, and looks fam familiar to m hmm. uh, the Mordecor, Quillax Net Keen levels. Ooh, uh, those look pretty good. The Sunny Lands and the Mort Tricks. That's really cool. Great websites. Um, best online entertainment: Chocolate Keen and Web Assembly. Keen mods and at Jamish. What are these? Oh, that's um, Miss Commander Spleen. I wonder what Spleen is doing right now. What about this? Can we play? Oh goodness! Oh, I pressed enter and it worked. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Oh, that sounds chunky. Oh, it works with the arrow keys. What does spacebar do? Oh no. I have to get ammo for my ray gun. Whoa. Is this the whole game? I did it. I think 
It is the entire game. Ah, oh, I forgot to stop by and get my pogo. Okay, we're gonna shoot a Yorp and then be done with it. <laughs> Chocolate Keen, that's great. Um, did Chocolate Keen win, though? It actually did, with four votes. And then we have online community recognition, Malv, Fleeksy, Keen Rush. And that's this year, Nasaba won Keeny, Keenest Person of the Year. So that's awesome. And then runner up Grandio 2, then King Duke, and then Quillax. Uh, and then really, really keen stuff. How to tackle the standard galactic alphabet. There's, uh, <laughs> he did a whole video on this. Trilogy known as the standard power up in pretty much all the episodes. This is a 16 long minute video. That is quite extensive. That's awesome. Didn't win though because really nerdy keen stuff uh, is uh, it was uh, by NY thirty thirty two or something. That's a whole science about how the ice blocks work or something. Or discovering that jump height in keen one two and three uh, depends on the CPU speed to get all the lollipops. Oh yes. Oh okay. That that's yeah. Huh. And then Pro Yorp. Got three votes for the origin of, of uh, Keen's death in Vorticons, which I was impressed enough to post. Um, I even posted a video link, which is probably a Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Ridiculous. Um, anyways. I remember that. I like that. And then there's most promising project. Uh, crazy comment. Moray in the forest. Oh, and then we we were all trying to do the 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 or not me, but trying to contribute to the keen four levels in the Wolfenstein mod, the Blade of Agony. So that was super hype. Best official Keen product. Nintendo Switch port of Keen Dreams. Never did try that. <laughs> it's weird. Wait, Keen shirt. And then the Command of Keen mobile game. I <laughs> got no votes. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Well, tell me what you, you like about this, uh, this the polls, the whatever. Um, I should show you the trophies. These are the trophies. For the four categories, you've got a Yorp statue. Well, you can see them here. So, here they are. They were made by uh, Lava. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lava 89. So, this is one for Quillax, for Atroxen Realm, for Gridlock. And, yeah, for 3D print them off. You have your trophy. That, that was, those were neat. And then later on, instead of the poll results, they just have a thread for just the winners. So you can click on the trophy, and it'll redirect you to a page of the trophy, and then the link to the thing, the actual product that won. That's super neat. I think so. Anyways, thanks for joining me on this whatever this was. I uh, hope you have a nice Sunday because it's Sleepy Sunday, episode two. And I'd like to thank you for joining me because it's time to go now. Uh, in next week, we'll look at maybe the next awards for uh, uh, 2020. Bye. <laughs>